What's up, everyone? It's your Captain Cheppy here. I just wanted to get into some description before we get into the full gameplay of Arcade Spirit. What if the 1983 video game market crash never happened? Set in 2000XX, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel romantic comedy with a different history where arcades still reign supreme as the ultimate place to play. After a period of turbulent employment, your character starts an exciting new job at the Funplex, a popular local arcade with a team of staff that are eccentric as the customers. From fierce programmers and dedicated high score chasers to creative cosplayers and tinkering programmers, the neon lights and buzzing atmosphere of the Funplex is welcome home to many. But where will this newfound employment opportunity take you? Who will you meet along the way? And will you finally find the romance you've been seeking? So that's right, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel, but not just any visual novel, actually. Arcade Spirits also has dating simulator elements with seven different characters who can be romanced or just befriended. Romance is completely optional in this game. You don't actually have to do it at all if you don't want to. Uh, nearly all dating simulators require you to undertake some kind of mandatory romance encounter, but uh, Arcade Spirits uh, is actually unique in the genre that you don't actually have to at all. It's one of the parts of the game if you want to be in the romance, if you want to get all romanced and everything like that, then you're more than welcome to, but this game isn't all revolved around that which I find that is pretty cool, actually. Thank you, guys, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. I really want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for giving me an early access code and being able to stream this and actually be able to make videos on this game. It's a really great pleasure to have the opportunity to play this game and especially to show you guys what it's like to play this game just so then you can see for yourself. But I will say make sure you choose your own choices and don't just follow mine just so you could get a different ending. Because like I said, depending on the choices you make, it's a different ending for everyone. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And again, I really want to thank Arcade Spirits for giving me the opportunity to play this game uh, before it was fully released on for consoles. It was an amazing opportunity, and thank you so much. But guys, let's just get into the video. So I guess I'll see you guys in the video. The rest of the afternoon passes in a blur. So soon the sun has gone down. The Floatsome Beach is, in a, is a calmer place. A more chill vibe as the day, uh, the day's manic energy is long since spent. It's also clear the group will, s will be breaking up soon. They've already changed back to their regular clothes, done with the beach as a whole. Some are talking about checking out the nightlife scene around here. Some just want to relax in their hotel room. Some are simply heading back to the city, leaving me alone for a moment with my thoughts. It's been a wonderful day, definitely. It's only one thing that could prove it. A risk. A daydream. But maybe one worth taking. A butt. <laughs> I happen to know a few things about Dream lately. Beep beep, Captain! Yeah, I know. You want me to ask someone on a date? Only if you want to. I know it's kind of pushy early, I'm sorry. But if you want this, now is the moment. Everything in my calculations say that it's perfect time. I've got a lot going for me, but maybe something's still missing? Something more that I need from life than the warm friendship alone? More importantly, maybe one of them feels the same way. Maybe they feel the same yearning? Romance, love, I'm no stranger to these things, but those were fumbling first attempts in youth. I could fumble again. Am I ready for this? I, well, I'm still considering. Hmm, how about I run down the data while you're thinking? Let's see. Fuck yeah, that's my baby girl! Woo! She likes what she likes with love, baby! Woo! You see that shit, baby? Oh my. That booty's gonna be mine. Okay, after my analysis, here's where you stand with everybody and how personality is shaping up. But now that I've had a few weeks to understand you better, I think I could judge these values based on what I know each of them likes in a partner. Oh! <laughs> that booty is so mine, my cat! The booty. <gasps> I'm so close to it. It's hard. Ivan is honest and direct, but it's letting its hides in a kind heart, and you're both kindly and steady, so that's great. Ashley's an open book to share with anyone. She's very sincere that you're both steady. First desire is wide open to the world, as is your own. You're both very kind. Jayo's quite level-headed and responsible, despite his smart and calm, you're steady as well. And that's everybody. Oh, fuck, Queen Bee just did not get any talk. That's everybody. In my final analysis, I think you are best possible match for Naomi, Queen Bee, and Gavin. <laughs> Bitch, we already know. Who, guys, who, who am I going to choose? Um, 
anyone, anyone, um, I'm quite lost on, uh, who I'm choosing again. All three would make a fine companion for you, Captain. Naomi, Queen Bee, and Gavin all get along well with you and match your personality. So, Naomi, Queen Bee, and Gavin. I to say yes, Mrs. yes, I calculate you have the best probability of success with them. Numbers, all based on numbers. My score. She's badass! What if they're just not into people like me? Uh, let's be honest. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Given we get along great already, but what if I ask them out and it turns out they're not into people like me? Sexuality hasn't exactly popped up in a casual conversation yet with anyone. Captain, I have a little more faith, uh, have a little more faith in me than that. I wouldn't suggest anyone in their compass wasn't pointed in your direction. Don't worry, my analysis is sound. Well, at least I won't have that, I won't have to ha uh, at least I won't have that awkward moment then. Just the awkwardness approaching someone based on a nu numeric score. Iris lets out a, dig a little digital sigh. I don't think you're looking at this score thing the right way, Captain. Good times with smiles and laughter, and sometimes even tears. This isn't like a dating app, right? You aren't asking a total stranger out just because their numbers match. You need to switch to causal relationship analysis. I need to ask for a casual relationship? Okay, got it. Right. Do not limit ourselves here. All those who are special to you. Which ones you want to share your heart with. I know which one I want to share my face with. <laughs> it's a big decision. She's right. She's been watching me, listening to me, and understanding me. But in the end, it's my choice, and it's their choice to accept my love or not. But which one do I love? Which one should I approach? Sora, what are your thoughts, Sora? <laughs> Paging one, Sora. Hold on, hold on. Let me set it up. Let me, <clears throat> let me set this up. here on who we're getting obviously first one on the list baby ready here we go here we go sorry just gonna make sure it's a three two one boop it's really only one choice in my mind baby and that's my booty one person i spent the most time with naomi it's naomi i don't need the numbers to know that Iris smiles at me from my phone screen. I knew you'd say that, but be careful, okay? You two get along great, sure, but this might be difficult, more difficult than you think. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? What do you mean more difficult? What is that supposed to mean? I thought you said she wanted to give me the booty. Am I not getting the booty? Am I not getting the booty? Why? 
Why? Why? I'm panicking. I'm sweating. It's so much. <laughs> I pocket my phone and approach Naomi, ready for this at last. She said it was a sure thing. The calculations, the numbers. What was it supposed to mean if the numbers were correct? I want to turn myself down because I'm getting so excited about that booty. <laughs> oh my god. Woo, I'm concerned. The numbers, the calculations, they all said I uh, gotta uh, 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 be her. <sighs> Ready for this at last. She's on the fridge of the group. She's sort of idly twiddling her thumbs, unsure of what to say or do. Hey, wait. Night, homie. Oh, um, hey there. Can I please let you in? Fuck! <laughs> Definitely, but, uh, I think I know something that'd make it nicer. What's that? I don't know, now I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> if, uh, if Iris didn't say anything, I would have, uh, said, you know, what's really nice, that booty, but now I'm really nervous. Woo! <laughs> you, me, hitting the town. She's like heart. That's what Iris said, so. You've already seen a lot of this beach town. I love to call a home away from home. But there's more to see. Quiet little shops, nice cafes. Places where two people can share some moments alone. I mean, would you do me the honor of going out with me tonight? I can promise an evening you won't forget. I'm scared to hit A, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just like literally just went <laughs> accept it. <laughs> I I guess it's a bit shocking since it's the first time I've really expressed this feeling. Uh, at least I'm worried at first I'm worried she'll run away or something. She's a <laughs> she's a bit freaked out to be honest, but she stands her ground. Well, wait. Really? Uh you you must be taking Rabbit, right? Ah, I'm nervous, I'm so fucking nervous. I'm serious, no fooling around. No, what? I mean, we could fool around. I mean, that's not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying we shouldn't fool around. I mean, if you're into that, but I, I mean, I'm just asking for a date. I mean, we don't, we don't really have to fool around. I, I meant I'm no fooling. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. I, I, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, no, Phil, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm not messing with you. No. Oh. Uh, oh, well, then, um. Oh, no, that's not a good sign. real quick <laughs> great great um <clears throat> total uh gentlemen here uh uh yeah i'm gonna be a total gentleman you know uh don't don't worry about it uh we can uh let's uh let's uh let's go walk around maybe sit on my face i mean i mean sit on the bench and watch the waves <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus. He stands there, his 
If glued to the spot, expression frozen. Oh shit. I didn't think I'd get this far, honestly. What? Baby, okay, hold on. Let me tell you how a date goes. You sit on my face. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It does not, but <laughs> I can confirm it does not count. It, it, it doesn't count, right? No, I yeah, I can confirm it does not count. Uh, oh boy, I knew Naomi was a bit reclusive, but not this extent. I'm not okay. That last one, I'm not gonna. Wait, that doesn't count. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that last one. That's fucked up if I do that. Wait, do you, do you know where babies come from, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Naomi, it's it's okay. Look, dating's not a spectacular, complicated, a spectacularly complicated thing. No matter what Hollywood may claim, I've gone on a plenty of dates, and I like to keep it calm and friendly. Not that I'm a whore or anything. Like I, I'm not saying that I've gone on a lot of dates. I'm just saying that I've been on one. No, I'm not saying that I, I haven't been on many. Yeah, I, I mean, like, it's I, 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 I've been dating before. It, I'm, yeah, I've been on a date. <sighs> we already spent a lot of time together. Think of it as just another lunchtime break at the front porch, chatting and having a good time, okay? Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, we already get along great, so it's not really a big deal, right? It's just... Uh, another lunch at night a night lunch sure i already had dinner though okay so where do we go for this date somewhere normal and date like somewhere totally expected for the uh, somewhere totally expected for this thing i insist i'm tempted to suggest a movie something simple and easy but the nearest theater is too far away well there's dance club restaurants bars a bar yes that's normal and there's a barcade here on the boardwalk with games and everything that'll be perfect okay let's do a bar uh, you sure? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Yes, I can do this. It'll be fine. Let's get moving. Uh oh. I don't know if that was supposed to be my heart pounding or if that was supposed to be them walking. <laughs> I am worried now because it seems like she's kind of pressuring herself to do the like do like a you know, with a lot of people around. But she's off, striding with swift purpose right down the boardwalk. It takes me a moment to catch up, actually. Naomi walks so quickly, there's not much point to small talk. At first, I assumed she was super excited to be going out with me. But from the way she's avoiding my looks, I'm wondering if this is more nerves than anything else. I hope I haven't, I haven't made a mistake. She's going along with it, making a big show of being exciting and enthusiastic. But the whole thing feels a bit awkward. Like she's just trying... Just for my sake. Oh. Wow, it's uh, very crowded. Like, super crowded. Crap, forgot not, that Naomi doesn't like hordes of people. I make sure to stick by her side as we push through the throng to find a table. Unfortunately, the only available two-seater is near the middle of the action. Not a quiet side spot. Arcades are big business on Float Sam, not just the kiddie ones on the boardwalk, but adult-focused ones as well. In fact, most of the games here are adult-focused with bloody fighting games, and... Is that one seriously just topless volleyball game? Hey, uh, if you want to go somewhere else instead... N no! I, uh, um, well... No, no, this is normal, right? A, a normal place for normal couples to go. I'm fine with this, this is dating. Kinda normal, sure, but drinks. We require drinks. Do they have diet soda? I don't really um drink alcohol. Oh God, why did I even suggest this? In show of solidarity, I, I get a soft drink for myself too. Returning to the table with two glasses and two straws. Now we sips for hers delicately while studying the very smutty and or sporty and or bloody games to off on offer. I can honestly say that I've never been in an arcade like this. 
Yeah, me neither, really. Most arcades are just like normal arcades, Sam's Children, in addition to fancy games and drinks. You normally take girls to bars like these? I mean, not all the time. I'm not saying you do that, but, but when you're dating, there's no non-awkward way to talk about this. Can I maybe joke around a bit? I'll be relaxed. Oh, man! Uh, I don't like any of these answers. I, I guess, like, I, I don't know. I mean, I suggested being, like, funny to make her relax. I definitely am not usually straight to their place for hot coffee. Yeah, that's not right. I'm not excited about this. Why did we even suggest to go to a barcade? I know she's just trying for me, but like, I'm, uh. Fuck me, I, I, ah. Uh. Hold on, I got it. Guys, I got it. Listen, all right, everyone fucking calm down. I'm not fucking this up, all right? So I saved it, so if she doesn't like the funny answer, we're literally shutting this game down. And we're gonna go for the basic answer. Okay. Definitely, I'm out with Hotties like all the time. Sometimes two or three a night. It's just all beers and naked volleyball games 24 seven. That's a thing that normal humans do indeed. It takes a brief moment to realize I'm kidding, but. Right, sure. Woo, oh fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> she pauses a moment, closing her eyes, trying to filter out the noise of the place and ends up sighing in disappointment. Oh god, this is super awkward, isn't it? I'm making this super weird. It's the context, right? It's all about context. When you and I are hanging out, just laughing and talking and eating lunch, it, it, it feels comfortable like a cozy sweater. Why does, it, uh, why does doing the same thing as a date feel so different? Why does it have to be different at all? It doesn't have to be, I swear. Look, take it from a dating vet. Oh my god, why would I say that? A dating veteran? Well, take it from a whore, uh, a veteran by comparison anyway. It's not a huge deal. You just enjoy some time together. You just enjoy time together. That's it. What you do is almost secondary to that. Look, I, I think coming here was a mistake. I'll own up to that. I should have insisted on something quieter. Quieter or loud, that's not the problem. It's, I just, I want us to be us, how we are. The person I care about, who cares about me, and that's all. Nothing really different about it. Okay. You know, we don't have to go out tonight at all. We could have just waited to have a really nice lunch tomorrow. If you like that, we could call this off. No, no. I I also wanted something special, you know? To mark the night we decided we cared for e about each other so much that we had to make it more than an unspoken thing. It's just, it's not us. Naomi gets up from her chair. Oh god, she's not gonna leave me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I need to go bathroom. I'll be back shortly. Oh no! No! Uh, did I just ruin this? I'm only suggested a bar because that's where I'm supposed to. In a barcade? I figured I'd have some games. She likes games and. It, it should have worked. I wasn't anticipating disaster. Everybody around me, couples in the crowd, all having a great time while I sit here sipping on my diet soda. Feeling like I just stepped on something fragile and precious. Sitting here waiting for a good 10 minutes. Did she crawl out a window in the bathroom and escape into the night? Should I go check and make sure she's okay? Eventually I'm snapped out of my blue funk when I hear something metallic clink against the table. A set of car keys. Gavin? Here. I want to gas up by more. Uh, I guess up before morning, though. Understood. Um, what? My van. You wanted to borrow it, correct? What? Oh, hey, you got here super quick. Naomi puts her phone away as she returns, apparently having just called up Gavin with it. Yes, yes, we'll get some gas on the way back. I promise. Good. I don't loan my convoyance out to just anyone. You understand? This is not a zoo. Drive under the speed limit. Take care of that. Any, uh, take care of any red lights. If you need me, I'll be back at the hotel. Thanks, thanks so much. 
she like gets the keys and then she runs and I'm just still standing there and he's like wait aren't you going with her and I'm like did you not just see her run away from me and he's like oh sucks you want to come drive with us and it's just all of us crammed into fucking queen bee's like little beetle and we're just like sitting there and we're just like so this is fun <laughs> later gavin okay let's get going captain okay <laughs> what <laughs> on our date silly what i'm changing the parameters a bit but it's a surprise i can't tell you where where we're going just yet but i think you'll like it Fuck it. Of course, why didn't I think of it sooner? Yeah, why didn't I think of it sooner? That she's just leaving me and she's gonna kill me on the side of the road. Let Naomi take charge so she can feel comfortable with the whole date thing. Oh, fuck, I did not choose the second one. You didn't answer fast enough! <laughs> whole dating thing. I just assumed that she was so nervous when I what, that I needed to leave her. And here you said you didn't know anything about dating. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see where this goes. I don't know dating, but I know what I like, and I know exactly what I want to be doing tonight. Let's roll. It's dating time, Naomi style. Hey, hey, hey. And we're off, leaving the lights and noise of Flotsam Beach in our wake. Oh, this is cool art style now. Or this is a different art. She, like, made her have, like, a longer face. It's weird. She had, like, a very short face, but now, like, they gave her this, like, longer face. Given her destination is meant to be a surprise, I decided not to prod too deeply on it. Instead, focus on suddenly cheerful Naomi. She's quite talkative now that she's got a clear idea of what she wants to do. And then we drove right into the lake. Well, it's more of a pond, just some place to feed the ducks, but it felt like a lake. The water was up to her ankles when the car finally stopped anyway. That's the last time my college roommate let me drive her anywhere. Okay, great. Love to love to hear that when you're driving me right now. This particular story time isn't filling me with confidence about this voyage, Naomi. My point is, it's not like I haven't gone out and had fun before. Even an electric, electrical engineering student in college, a total nerd like me, has hit the town once or twice. It's not exactly my thing, but once we're really settled in together, I wouldn't mind taking another crack at the whole social mixer scenario like we tried tonight. Oh, so there's more. There's gonna be uh, a second and a third time. And is there gonna be a time where you take a seat somewhere particular? I mean, I'm just saying. But for a first time together, I want it to be special. So you're saying. Yeah, yeah, second one. Do you feel that strongly about me? That this lark of mine to go, uh, wait, what? That this lark of mine to go out. Do you feel that strongly about me? That this lark of mine to go out on a date. That it could be something greater. Oh, jeez, you're making me blush again. Listen, I, I don't know much about this stuff, but I know that I like you, and I, I never do something half seriously. So if we both want this, I want to be all in. So do I. I'm all in. Okay, I promise to do right by you, and you promise in turn. So we'll be okay. No, we were okay before. We'll, we'll be even better. Tables have turned with me being the one a bit confused by everything and Naomi feeling totally in her element. Which is only fair, honestly. And knowing her, by the time the evening's out, we'll both be on the same level. Hey guys, sorry about the abrupt ending. It's just that I live streamed this and I'm trying to do 30 minute segment videos just so I can put this on the YouTube page and you guys can get a full playthrough of the game. I'm trying not to cut out anything, so sorry if I miss something. I will probably go back or something like that. But 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I want to say thank you to Arcade Spirits for letting me play their game early. And if you guys want your own copy, then make sure you go ahead and go buy it. Because it's now available for the Xbox One, PS4, and now the Nintendo Switch. Go buy it. I don't know what you're waiting for. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will come out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I just want to say that this is your Cat the Chippy speaking. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>